Okie dokie, well, hi everybody, and once again, it's cast time. And then, right off the bat here, let me, um, go ahead and intro the music real fast. Uh, this is gonna be the Lifted Index, uh, Heat Shade. Um, I think I played this during one of my recent streams. Um, kind of like the album I played yesterday, the Robert Wurzer or whatever, whatever his name was. But, yeah, it was still, uh, it was still sitting in my Watch Later playlist, so I figured, eh, what the hell, why not? Just go ahead and, uh, fire this one up, so... Let me do just that. Otherwise, let's get her started. Um, but yeah, for um, this evening stream, it, it went okay. Um, but um, uh, I laid down around. Hold on, did it do it again? Ah, yes, yes, it did it again. Um, it jacked up the volume on my, um, on my headphones to 100. So, okay, anyway, getting back to what I was talking, or getting back to what I was saying, um, I laid down around, I think it was around 4 a.m., um, slept okay, uh, woke up, uh, well, when I woke up around, uh, 9.30 a.m., um, my sinuses were shot, um, just... Again, it's been a uh, changing weather here, so it, uh, it it messes with my sinuses, and I think I have to turn it down a bit. Okay, there we go. So and then, right after that, that was when I I was basically on zero sleep. So, cause I mean, for the times that I actually could that I actually could get some sleep, it was all dream and nightmare filled. So, is it either Either I woke up, or, or just um, woke up because of um, me having a dream or nightmare about something really fucked up, um, something that I can't remember right up, right, something that I can't remember at the moment until later on in life when, when a certain moment becomes deja vu and, hey, I had a dream or nightmare about this some time ago, you know, so, so needless, so needless to say. I was actually kind of hoping I can do an early stream like I've been doing recently, like starting up around noon or 1 p.m. or something. But nope, didn't happen that way. So after 9:30 and my struggle to try to get try to get back to sleep, um, alarm went off around 1:30 p.m. So I basically ended up streaming at my normal time, 2:30 p.m. So because of that, I wasn't gonna try to do. I wasn't going to try to do the whole idle game medley that I've been doing. Um, just... Uh, I gotta check YouTube real quick. Okay, okay. It was just going to the, going to a new track. I thought YouTube froze up on me. But, anyway. Um, so, what I ended up doing is just, uh, fired up idling to rule the gods. I think I played it not for very long, though. Not until full completion, like, usually when I play that, I go from, uh, I play until I manage to progress long enough in the game to do a successful, for lack of a better word, uh, rebirth, where, you know, you start the game over, but you, um, you start with improved stats that you built up on your previous run. So, but like, like I said, um, normally that's what I do, but this time around, I just got, like, part way in and I just thought about this too I completely forgot to to check back and finish up finish the job but but anyway I I abandoned that game part way and just hopped right on over to idle champs where I just um I think I mostly just did farming runs on it I didn't I didn't work on any quest progression or anything like that so And then, um, also, lots of, uh, lots of, uh, music going on this time around, too. Just, I think it was, uh, Transmissions from the Dark, one of my favorite channels. They, um, they have their, they have what's called Dungeon Synth Sunday, where on Sundays, they'll put out a whole bunch of Dungeon Synth music, but for some reason, I didn't get any of it until today. So, they were kind of a, kind of a day late on that. So, just been playing a bunch of those and then another channel called the comfy synth archives uh they do start putting out a whole they 
put out a whole bunch of albums at once. So, just been listening to a lot of those. Um, some of my, um, one of my regulars, he was, um, he was having me check out various, like, Tales from the Crypt videos, um, various monster videos. In fact, he showed me, uh, he showed me, um, he showed me one from, um, the Monsters Modern or something like that. I can't remember the exact name, but they actually, I did kind of a reboot series in the late 80s, like 1988. I got within maybe 30 seconds. I'm like, ah, no, no. Oh my God, so much cringe. But uh, I did read that the, uh, the the 80s monsters did get kind of mixed reviews. So I, I totally understand why. Oh. I mean, they, sh they should have just let that series die. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink of some water real quick. But, um, I, uh, I didn't really do a whole lot of podcasts this time. Um, I did the, um, I did an Uncle Joey podcast. Joey Diaz, famous comedian. Um, checked his out. Uh, and then, just totally on a whim. Very rarely do I do this, but, uh, I fired up a video from Soft White Underbelly, one of my favorite channels. Normally, I'm pretty skittish on it, but I thought maybe since this particular episode was, uh, was a porn shop clerk, like, you know, he works in a porn store, you know, trying to, guys trying to get him to, like, tell some stories about it and all that, and just, you know, ask, hey, what's it like working at a porn store, that kind of stuff. I thought it'd be, um, for lack of a better word, fun. I thought it'd be a, I thought it'd be a fun episode to have on, so, but it, it is something that I'd like to play more often on these streams, some soft white underbelly videos, but the problem is, is, for anybody that's ever checked out this channel, yeah, uh, a lot of stuff on here, most certainly NSFW, you know, fentanyl addicts, crack addicts, you know, like, child sexual abuse survivors, that kind of thing. Not something I'd, I'd really want to play during a stream. So. I'm not, but, uh, what are the, you know, maybe one of these times I might actually, I might actually go through and put together a Softwire and Underbelly stream friendly playlist or something. Otherwise, that's that on that. But, and then once again, Pinball made another attempt. Try to get some FX3 going, but um, it crashes, it crashes in the main menu now. So, um... So much for that. I uh, fired up Pinball Arcade, thinking maybe I'll get lucky. Nope. I think it, uh, I can't remember which table it was, but the very moment the table, the table booted up, it, Pinball Arcade crashed. So, that left me with no other option than to play some Zachariah Pinball, because it's been, I think I said this yesterday, but it's been over a week now since I've played any pinball at all, so I kind of need my fix, so. Had no... Had no choice and had a had to go with second best Zachariah pinball. I did um I think I did like a quickie 15 and 20 minute session and just uploaded that to YouTube. So the way it's looking right now, it looks like I'll be dropping down a league. And if this keeps up, possibly all the way down to rock bottom league, because I just like I said, this I can't get the damn game to work. And then um, another thing I need to talk about is uh, it came out, it, uh, it just came out today. It's a new feature, or I should say it's a new old feature. 
Um, for a brief period of time, I actually had this. You can, um, they, it's kind of a mini Twitter. Like, um, used to be able to post up a community, I used to be able to do community posts, but, uh, for, for some reason I don't understand, they decided to go ahead and, uh, or they, uh, restricted it to only channels that had at least 500 subscribers. And, uh, I only got 83, so, so I kind of got left out in the cold on this. Well, today, they, I guess they decided to make it an option for everybody now. So, it, although I don't, I can't remember what I did, though, to make a, because uh, all I want on it is just to, uh, mostly just to make like a regular plain old you know everyday post you know probably something like YouTube copyright claimed my video even though the copy came back out okay so you know this is something oh learn to type Joe you know so here it is on you know so here it is on twitch you know so you know so something like you know something like this this is um You know, so this is something that I really... Okay, yeah, that's not quite right. Let me... Let me fix this window real quick. I try to cut it down a little bit. You know, something like that. I mean, that. I mean, that's what I really wanted for it. You know, or if there's an emergency, for lack of a better word, like if uh, if something like that were to happen, you know, like I just type down, like, you know, post up a cast video, but uh, if it gets copyright claimed, then here I'll just go ahead and upload it to Twitch instead, which is much much less likely to, you know, which is uh much less likely to get muted than it would be to get copyright claimed on YouTube. You know, something like that's kind of an alternative. You know, let everybody know, hey, you know, like, you know, my cast video's on Twitch now. You know, that kind of thing. You know, it's kind of like a, you know, again, for emergency reasons. So, you know, or, oh, hey, um, hey, OBS keeps, cr or, I tried making this video, but, uh, but, uh, my computer crap, my computer decided to crash right out of nowhere, so I'll have to abandon the project, you know, you know, just a way to let people know. Okay, so you... Okay, so you can just make, um... Just regular posts. Now, I'm assuming that all of my subscribers are going to get this. And luckily, you can delete, you can also edit and delete your posts. So that's pretty valuable. And then on, on top of that, I pick a, let me... Wait a moment. And then also, it shows a... Uh... Shit. Yeah, I'd have to embiggen it. But yeah, on my, uh, on my channel list... Okay, I don't want to... I don't want to fiddle with the windows, but yeah, it does... As, long, um, as well as uh, showing all the videos that I made... 
it's also gonna show all the posts that I've made. So this is my this is my channel content tab. But uh, I kind of wish it would show the number of views. But maybe in a future update. So I guess kind of a kind of a quickie dicky recap. Uh, YouTube's got a new feature now, or it's a new old feature. Like I said, for a brief period of time, I had this until they uh until they restricted it to only channels that had 500 or more subscribers. But I get but today I got it now. So and this is a feature that I'm probably gonna make fairly heavy use of. You know, like um. You know, like uh, when I post up my Final Fantasy XIV blog, maybe post it up here on YouTube as well. So. But otherwise, just felt the need to get that out there. It's kind of turning into a short cast. I was expecting this to be long. Or I was expecting this to go a lot longer, but. But, um. But, no, I just, just now thought of it. And, um, I kind of thought of this earlier. Or I should say, in anticipation of this, of it, this being a pretty short cast, because when I was putting it together, I didn't really, didn't really do much. So I thought what I'd go ahead and do is, uh, fire up, uh, fire up Twitter, um, look at a current event. Because something interesting, um, I actually probably kind of piqued my interest a little bit. Um, mashed potato throwing at a $96 million Monet painting. It's like, okay. So, I... No. No, would I, would I chuck up, would I chuck mashed potatoes at a, at a, at a painting that, a painting of this price? No. Not if it costs 96 million. In fact, I don't even. Yeah, I don't even say. Um, oh, that's a Twitter channel. Yeah, if it if a painting if a painting's got to be worth 96 mil, I ain't fucking with it. I keep thinking that um. I keep thinking they're gonna get thrown in jail or. Possibly even uh, subjected to a firing squad. Eco activists have thrown potatoes at Clock Le Moelis, gluing themselves to the floor. The hell? Oh, so that's them. That's the uh, eco terrorist guys. At least that's what I'm guessing. I thought they were like security or something. I don't know what the deal is. I don't even know what the painting looks like. Oh, and for those that don't know, um, I'm not the kind of person that really follows current events. Like I said, I'm mainly doing this just to add a little something to this video. Otherwise, this video would have been over in like 10, 15 minutes. So. Okay, breaking news. Anti-ad blocker ad. Nope. Fuck you, Metro. I'll just here. Let me just let me just go on Google and let's type down mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes money. So let's go find a website that doesn't have ad, anti-ad blocker ads. Um. Okay, so they did get arrested then. Here, so let's let's fire up NBC News. Yeah, German protesters arrested after. Oh, fuck. Hang on, I gotta fix the window. So yeah, some very poor preparation on my part. Sorry about this. So yeah, um, they did get arrested, but I mean, when you got when you deface a painting that's worth 110 million, 
I think uh, them getting their getting arrested is probably going to be the least of their worries. This painting is not going to be worth anything if we have to fight over food. I have no idea what they're talking about. Like I said, I'm surprised they don't, I'm surprised they're not going to get executed for this. Just arrested. question I kind of have. Why mashed potatoes? I don't get it. No, uh, why not? Why not find an old man with a full colostomy bag and just chuck that at a painting or something? I don't, I can't make a connection between mashed potatoes and climate change. But again, I don't even know what the uh, painting looks like. I can... Yeah, I can't even tell. Claw Monet painting. Uh, investigating the protesters who police did not name. Property damage and trespass. Barbarini. And immediate... Conservation, investigation, great stacks. Hopefully, there won't be another anti ad blocker ad here. Okay. Hope you guys can see it. That's it, apparently. I don't get it. Maybe because I'm not German, but... I mean, you know, or another thing too, I think if you really, if you really, really want to make a statement, light the painting on fire. You know, because because once again, this this painting caught this painting is worth 110 million. So you're so yeah, you're not gonna just you're not gonna just get sent on your you know they're not gonna just grab you and escort you off the door. Yeah, they're gonna arrest you. Like I said a few minutes ago, possibly even subjected to a firing squad or lethal injection or some kind of capital punishment. That's a lot of money tied up in a fucking painting. So, grain stacks, which money I painted in 1990 was sold for 110 million. Huh? I must have like no powers of observation whatsoever. At least from um, at least from what I'm seeing here in this image. Apparently, there's like a. There's a panel of glass over this. Let me go back to the, let me go back to Twitter. You might be able to see it better. But yeah, I'm. Apparently, there's a panel of glass over the painting to protect it. I can't even see it. Y'all you know, are, I mean. Assuming they actually knew knew about this beforehand, you know, show up to this museum with a friggin' ball peen hammer, <laughs> shatter the shatter the glass, and then bring like a one of them mob, uh, one of them barbecue one of them barbecue lighters, you know, the, the push button one, you know, and just start the thing on fire. Because I'm I'm also assuming that the uh. The punishment they're gonna get 
is going to be the same no matter what they do to the painting. All right, um, my headphones are fucking up on me, so off they go. So, I guess I gotta be able to concentrate without having to yank, 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 the, yank the damn headphone wire. But again, I'm also assuming that um, the punishment's gonna be the same no matter no matter what you do to the painting. You might as well just burn the damn thing. And then again, why? What does that have to do with climate change? So let me um. So let's scroll down and keep waiting. On about why the protesters are being investigated for, given that the painting painting was unharmed. It kind of like it kind of like what I said a few minutes ago. Um, maybe in, in German law, the punishment's gonna be the same no matter what they do to it, even if it's protected with glass. Or let me rephrase that: even if it's protected by glass, just chucking potatoes at it, you're still gonna get arrested and thrown in jail. That's why I suggested. You might as well just come in with hammers, shatter it, you know, shatter it, and then just burn the damn thing. Now, if 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 there's a if there's varying degrees of punishment, then yeah, I'd understand it, you know, because I mean they don't want to, you know, they don't want they don't want to they don't want they don't want they wouldn't want the electric chair for doing something like this. So yeah, Chuck Taters at it. Video posted a Twitter account of last generation of the German climate. Seeming to glue their hands to the wall. Oh, so they're Okay, so that is that is her that's her arm back there, I guess. It's kinda hard to tell. Yeah, he's got his hands back. He's got a hand back there, but only one of them. Wall stunt was uh, similar to one this month at London's National Gallery, where two protesters just stopped oil. I'm really hoping you guys can see this, okay? But like I said, this is kind of poorly planned. I guess I'm getting getting uh starting to get tired of having to. Constantly uh, shrink and large, shrink and large, shrink and enlarge the window to get all the text. But yeah, I guess um, it looks like they did the same thing in uh, in over in uh, over in uh, Britain. Just stop oil, and they chuck tomato soup at the uh, Vincent Van Gogh's uh, sunflowers. I don't get it. Because now they're throwing tomato soup. It... The country's cost of living crisis. See, like I said, it's just kind of a, kind of a waste of effort. We're in a climate catastrophe, and all, all you are afraid of is tomatoes. This painting is not going to be worth anything if we have to fight over food. I might, on my own time, I might have to like look up a synopsis of this. I don't get the symbolism. Okay, so it's, it does keep going. 
The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change warned that urgent worsening food and water insecurity and weather events like heat wave. Tweeted out a video of the incident Sunday with a caption. To make this one of the stage in the public. With mashed potatoes being thrown at to make society remember. Huh? Like I said, I don't get it. But again, I'm neither I'm neither German nor British too. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take another drink of water. Maybe we, maybe maybe we should introduce him to the Adam Something channel, or you know, do not eat, not just bikes. Um, I think I think Strong Towns has a channel. You know, there's there's much better ways of protesting than to just you know than to just chuck a uh, chuck food at a damn penny. But once again. I'm not German. I'm not British. They have different points of view. Um, they do things differently in those places. But like I said, if I was a if I was a climate change activist, and if for some reason I if for some reason I just had to make the statement at an art museum, I'd have gone to I'd have probably gone to the most whatever painting there most resemble like anything industry related like a factory or something something that you know maybe um maybe if they had any pig paintings which could be a good uh, metaphor for uh for the uh greedy billionaires and stuff um again some you know look for some kind of in, some industrial looking painting like you know like a factory or whatever Especially one that's uh, has smokestacks and, and polluting. You get the idea. I'd have gone to one of those paintings, and for, and secondly, I'd have scouted the area first. You know, look for a, you know, and discover that all these paintings are encased, you know, encased in glass. You know, and then prepare accordingly. You know, again, show up with like a show up with a hammer. You know, a hammer. Um, maybe some some lighter fluid. Lighter fluid and one of those um those push button barbecue barbecue lighters, you know, and then just go to work, you know, actually burn down the painting, and not just chuck green beans at it or something, or or throw stove top stuffing at it, or, you know, stuff like that, or throw throw applesauce at the Mona Lisa, or, you know, something like that. Emphasized by the means with which they are trying to, but I mean, aside from that though, um, the last thing I'd probably would be doing is fucking with art. Like if I was an actual, if I was like one of these crazy climate change activists like these guys are, an art museum would be the last place I'd go. I mean, you know, a library would probably be the last place I'd go. You know, you want to, I mean, you, you know, if there's books about the evils of the world, you actually want to keep those books in there. You want to keep those art depictions up in the art museum so people don't forget. You know, people need to see stuff like that. You know, this is our history. So, yeah, last thing I'd be doing is uh, destroying them. But, it, you know, I'm, here, let me, uh, let me stop the broken record and move on. It is in the works of the Impressionists that we see the intense artistic engagement 19, and that Monet's works are part of. So I think he's starting to say the same thing too. Why? Grain Stacks is one of a series of 
25 paintings in which Monet depicted the grain stacks and fields near his home in Givernery, France, painting them different light and weather conditions. Yeah, and once again, I don't get it. I think West Hyder was saying the same thing too. Why are they messing with these paintings? But otherwise, um, that's going to do it for me, everybody. Um, I think I've said all the things that I wanted to say. So, so yeah. Um, but thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in and listening to me. I appreciate that. And um, I should be able to make another one of these tomorrow. I might also do the same format, but we'll see you come tomorrow. So, but until then, whistle ain't working. But thanks for thanks for dropping by. I'll see you all next time. Bye now. <laughs>